Hi guys, Wholesome Mom Life here. My name is Olivia and we are diving into CVS this week for the week of August the 8th through August the 14th, 2021. Where is this year going? <laughs> Let's get into this week's deals. All right, guys, and this is my final haul. I'm actually going to end up returning the Colgates. I just noticed on the receipt that they were for the wrong Colgate deal, and I did not get back the extra bucks that I was hoping for. So we're going to go ahead and dive in to everything, and I'll explain that in a little bit. The first thing on my receipt are these Ghirardelli chocolate squares. I got two of them. They were supposed to be two for a dollar and I think they did ring up two for a dollar. Uh, I got those as a filler item because I thought I had too many extra bucks and I was going to end up eating extra bucks. That was not the case. So that was kind of a stupid mistake on my part. Um, but anyway, I love chocolate. So who cares? It was a dollar. Man down. And that's these little guys right here. I might eat those right now, actually. They look really good. The Beauty 360 Acetone I also got because I figured I was going to be... I had like a $10 extra buck I had to use. And I thought that um, I was too short of $10, if that makes sense. So I added a couple things like the chocolates and this acetone. Um, nail polish remover. Ended up not needing it, but that's okay. I actually needed nail polish remover anyway. So the nail polish remover was $3.79. I had a dollar CRT for that. The Cetaphil cleansers, there's two of them. They were $9.99, BOGO 40%. So I got two of them that came out to about $16. Down here, I had a three off of 15 Cetaphil CRT. And then I had a $6 off of two paper coupon. That, so let me check my spreadsheet really quick. That is from the Smart Source 718. And then I had a five off of two Cetaphil Facial Care CRT right here. So yes, that was pretty good. Um, that came out to be about $2 for two of them or $1 each. These are the eight fluid ounce. All the other moisturizers were hella expensive. Uh, so that's, I found this one. I wanted to only spend 16 at the max or buy two products that totaled 16 after the bogo 40%. So that's why I went for this one and it had to be over four ounces according to the coupon. The next item on the receipt are the Colgate toothpaste. They were 419 each that came to, um, 16.76 for four of them. And I had a four off of 16 Colgate CRT that I do believe came off right there. And then I had a $3 off of two digital coupon and that was supposed to come off. I don't think that it did. Doesn't look like that it did. And the I had two 75 cent internet printables from the Colgate website and those were right there. So that deal was just all wonky. It wasn't working right. And the cashier was saying she would print me an extra buck if the one cashier was there that could do it. And then he didn't come or something. So she didn't print me the extra buck. I was like, you know what? Never, it's not a big deal. I'll just go return it without the receipt on a different day. If you don't take the receipt, they will give you back like 97% or 95% of that store's um, price. And that's great because if you took this back as is they would go oh you have 396 in coupons we're only going to give you back some change that's not correct um because the coupons they're counting in extra bucks that you paid with and so i don't believe that that's right so i take the i take them without the receipt anyway the whole problem was that i only ended up getting back a four dollar extra buck for this and I was supposed to get back $8 because I did the deal twice. The Colgates were on a buy two, get $4 limit of two. So I was hoping to pay $8.26 after all the coupons came off and get back $8, making it $0.26 cents for four of them. However, this was on the buy two, get $2 deal, not the buy two, get $4 deal, limit of two. Um, so I'm going to end up returning that. Here's the extra buck that I got. Um... So yeah, this was a bummer, wrong Colgate deal. Oh well, my store wasn't tagged, so that's why I ended up trying it out. But you win some, you lose some. The next item on the receipt are the Scope and the Oral-B. So I was hoping to get four Scope mouthwashes and then one, or excuse me, just the four Scope mouthwashes. Um, they're on a buy two, get $5 limit of two. So buy four of them at $5.49. That comes to $21.96. I had a $5 off of three digital coupon 
that did come off right here. A $1 digital coupon for Crest or Scope, right there, Crest Scope. And then I had a $5 off $20 Crest CRT, which also did come off. And that is right there. So my total came to, and the toothbrush, by the way, was the same price as the, um, the mouthwashes. So it all worked out perfect, actually. So yeah, they were all $5.49. So what I did, because one was a $5 off of three digital coupon and one was a $1 coupon off of one. So what I did, because the $5 off three would attach to these, but it wouldn't attach to this. So I made sure that was rung up first and then those three. So the $1 attached to that and the five off three attached to that. Hope that makes sense. So I paid $10.96 for four of them, got back $10, making it 96 cents for four of them or 24 cents each. That's a great price. I don't use scope mouthwash, but I will donate that. So I'm always happy to give that to someone in need. And then what else is left on this receipt? The cover girls were $6.79, the two shadow kits, and the liner and the lipstick were $8.79 each. My total for those came to around $32, I believe. So the cover girl was on a buy three, get $8 limit of one. I bought four products totaling $32 because I only had a $5 off of two digital and I had a $5 off two internet printable from the coupons.com website. I also had a $6 off 30 cosmetic CRT and a $4 CoverGirl CRT. So I ended up paying $12, getting back $8 in extra bucks, $3 in beauty bucks, making it $1 for four items or 25 cents each. That is not a bad price. And I actually want to try out the lip liner and the lipstick. Uh, I've never tried this kind before. I don't necessarily have high hopes, but I will try this out. Um, if I ever wear makeup again, I haven't worn makeup in forever. And there's the CoverGirl lipstick, the Demi Matte, Streaker is the shade. And then I get so many of these shadow kits and I don't use them because I don't wear like blues and purples. But yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this. But anyway, the $5 off to digital a coupon does exclude the one shadow kits but this shade in particular was attaching to the digital coupon the five off two and these qualified the lipsticks the lip products qualified for the for the coupon so what i did is i made sure i bring up the eyeshadow kits first since the digital was attaching to those and then i bring up the lip products second hope that makes sense so just to go over the coupons I had the $5 off two, that was an internet printable. I had the $5 off of two digital coupon. Then I had the $6 off 30 cosmetic CRT. And then I had the $4 CoverGirl CRT. I think that was it. So that was everything that I got. After all my coupons, my total came to $349 plus tax. Isn't that crazy that tax makes it $708? So anyway, paid $708. I will end up returning those. I will still get to keep those $4 in extra bucks. So I guess you could see that as whatever you want. But I just personally think it's wrong that CVS uses the extra bucks that you pay against you. All right, guys, that is it. I hope you all have a wonderful week. And I will see you again next Sunday at CVS if the deals are good. I feel like the deals haven't been that great. Maybe it's just me. But I will be back out next Sunday if the deals are great. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.